Now, if you need more help with Excel than what we cover in our training videos, you want to learn more about a, another feature, you can come up here on top of the ribbon to the Tell Me What You Want to Do feature, which is new to Excel 2016, as opposed to the little question mark in earlier versions that you can click on to get help. So go ahead and click in here, and you get a little pop-up that says, hey, this is what you recently did and some things you may want to try. If it's not there, then go ahead and type in a keyword, like let's say I want to learn about the comment feature, how to insert a comment into a cell here, and does it actually replace the data within the cell. So let's go ahead and type in the keyword comment, and you get three different options. Now I know there's more, but I'm talking about the category of the options, like everything up above this line here are all commands. So you can actually insert a comment, show all comments just by clicking on it if there are any comments that are inserted in the workbook. Show ink annotations, find and select, clear. You can get help on it or do a smart lookup. Now if you do the smart lookup, it opens up the task pane over to the right. And when you first do it, Excel is going to ask you, hey, in order to do this, to search our database online, we've got some privacy things that you may want to consider. So you can click on the privacy policy link. And if you accept it, then go ahead and click on the button, got it. And then it'll go ahead and do a lookup. And in the Insights task pane, you can explore it and actually define it. Now explore it down below. It doesn't say anything about comments in Excel about the feature of it. It just tells you that it's a noun. So if you're actually trying to define it, which also it has the define option, because when you click on that, it's the same thing as when you click on Explore. Exploring is trying to explore all different options throughout the web as opposed to specifically defining it. And so, well, you get the definition here, the noun, a verbal or written remark expressing an opinion or reaction. And you can go down and do more explore, like on Wikipedia, do a web search on comment definitions. Sometimes they'll have images, depending upon what you type in, if the search engine can find something that it finds helpful. And then, like I said, you can define it if you want the definition of it. But it doesn't say anything about the comment feature. So if you want to actually look up a word and see what it means, define it or explore what that is on the web, you got the Insights task pane. Let's go ahead and close out. Come back up here, and let's type in comment again. Besides the commands, next we have get help on it. That's what I need. Click on get help, opens up the help window, and down below add a comment. And you can go ahead and click on it. And it tells you about adding notes to individual cells by using comments to give your reader additional context for the data that it contains. So it looks like it just adds a little pop-up sticky note over to the right-hand side that people can read more about the contents or the purpose of the cell, which is cells are up. That's great. 42 is greater than 14, 21, so cells are up. And then you can come up here if you want to do a search, type in about keyboard shortcuts, and it actually pulls it up, so you can just go ahead and click on it. And then keyboard shortcuts in Excel 2016 for Windows. And then you can go back to your original search, add a comment, you can go home. So that way you can get the top categories that people look at. And that's pretty much it for the help. Close out. And then like I said, the other option under the three categories that are listed when you type in what you want to search for are the actual commands. So like inserting a comment, when I click on it, it actually inserts the comment as you just saw in that window. The help window explaining what it does. And so there's the pop-up. You type in cells are up or there's no cells this quarter because we added it to an empty cell. In any case, you can learn more about comments, but the purpose again of it is to Use the tell me what you want feature to either execute the command, define it, to get more help in Excel on what that feature does and how to execute it. And also, if you just want a generic definition of what you typed in here to do a lookup, there you go. Oh, and there's one other place that you can go besides tell me what you want to do when you want to do a smart lookup to get the definition, well, the insights task pane. Let me go ahead and hit escape a couple of times. So, well, let me click off the comment still there so I can right click on the cell. And in the shortcut, delete the comment. Don't worry, we'll cover this later. And if you come up here and click on the Review tab, in the Insights group, there's a Smart Lookup. So you don't have to come up in here and click in it to type it in. If you want to just click on Smart Lookup, it looks in the cell. And if there's anything in there, it'll do a search on it. But it says, hmm, looks like you didn't select any text. So if I select California, do a Smart Lookup, it looks it up. And hey, isn't that fun? I can explore California may have nothing to do with my spreadsheet at the moment except that that's where we had sales and then also you can actually define it and see what the definition it's a state in the western US okay I'm good 